Hi all and welcome. In this video uh, I'll take you through how I created this uh, lifestyle mock-up where, um, where I can change this image uh, in this frame, save it as a JPEG or PNG file and upload to my social media or website. It's actually very easy and quick and only took a, a few steps to achieve. I just feel it's a great way to uh, showcase your artwork or designs in a in a real world kind of situation and in a show probably, probably potential buyers of your designs or what it look like in their in their in their in their world if you want to say that um, this is actually a continuation of my uh, uh, previous uh, uh, video the uh, one I showed you creating a beautiful frame to display your photography or designs that's the basic one um, I will place a, um, a link to that video so you can check out that video as well. So before uh, we get started, uh, please don't forget if you're new to my channel to hit that subscribe button and, and that bell icon uh, to be notified of more videos I'll be putting out very soon. So I'm going to start off uh, by um, opening up a new background. Also what I'll do is I will place the link to this background so you can download it yourself and, and use it if you like. So uh, let's get started. So I'm going to open up a new background image. Oops. Sorry. There we go. Then I'm going to uh, place a white box on the top here. Now you can make it as big as as small as you like. Uh, I'm going to go into the layers panel. I'm going to double click on the word rectangle one and call it picture. I'm going to unlock the the background image so that I can line up uh, the the picture, uh, centerize the picture layer with the background image. So I'm going to command uh, click on it. I'm using a Mac by the way, so that's why I hit command click. Then I'm going to highlight the uh, picture layer, go into layers and I'm going to go align and align horizontal center so it will centerize the, the box to the background. So it's done that. Now I'm going to do a command D to um, unselect. Next I'm going to right click, duplicate and the bottom one I'm going to call, I'm going to double click and call it shadow. I'm going to double click and just remove this word copy. Now I'm going to right click on the shadow layer and convert to smart object. Then I'm going to double click again in the shadow layer and I'm going to color overlay to black. Now I'm going to add the shadow to it so I'm going to add a blur to it. So I'm going to go filter, blur, glazing and blur. Now I'm happy with that so I'm going to leave it at that and click OK. I'm going to um, uh, bring it down a little, um, the, the shadow down a little bit and to the left because as you can see the lighting effect comes from uh, the right side of the um, of the image. So I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to bring down the opacity to about a 30. Yep, happy, I'm happy with that. Now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add the picture uh, or the image into this picture layer. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to right click, convert to smart object. Then I'm going to double click on the smart object and I'm going to bring in an image. I'm going to drag this image in here. Now I'm just going to uh, hold the shift key and just drag it out so it um, all fits within the canvas. Drag it out a bit more, make sure it all nicely fits in the canvas. Click OK. Now click the X and save. And that's it there. Now if you'd like to leave it like that, that's fine. I'm going to add a few more little things to it like a, um, um, a shine to it because uh, to make it look like there's a, there's a glass maybe to it. So I'm going to use the, the, the pen tool and draw a rectangle from the bottom here up there like this. I'm going to change the um, the blending mode to a soft light, bring down the opacity to about 20 or even 30, like that. So it gives a little that shine effect to it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the border. 
um, sorry, a frame to it. And I'm going to use uh, Photoshop's frame render. Uh, before I do that, I'll double click this and, and change the, the name to, uh, to Shine. I'm going to create a new layer. Go into Filter, Render, Picture Frame. And here are the different picture frames you can choose. I really like the art frame. The size is basically the thickness inside. And the arrangement is the lighting effect. See this little uh, thing change when I when I move. I'm gonna give I'm gonna leave it at that. And I click on OK. Now obviously I'm gonna resize it to fit my image and I'm gonna actually spin this around a bit. So I'm gonna command T, spin it around, then hold down the shift and bring in the sides. Obviously put the the the, f the frame over the image and and resize it as required that's it there see the the little white going on the here because it shows that the light is coming in from the right hand side that's uh, basically it guys now if you want to change the image you go into your picture um, layer double click on it and then you can change the picture to another uh, uh, image. So I'm going to click and drag this image in here. Hold down the shift and drag the corner so you fill out the. Click OK, click the X, and save. And there we go. You can keep changing the image. You know, uh, set, uh, resize this uh, this entire image to whatever size you like and save it as a JPEG, PNG and showcase it on your social media or, or website. That's it guys, that's simple as that. Uh, I hope you got something out of it. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to um, to hit that, that thumbs up uh, to help the video in uh, within um, YouTube. Also, I'd like to see your version of this um, of this design or how you uh, display your, your artwork on social media or your website comment below let us see it and yeah thanks for watching guys